It's remarkable that a small nation like Sweden can maintain such a robust fighter aircraft program. Over the years, Sweden has consistently advanced its air force technology, resulting in formidable aircraft like the Saab Gripen E. While it's not a sixth-generation jet, its capabilities surpass many expectations. Join us as we explore the immense power and capabilities of the Saab JAS-39 Gripen E. This aircraft epitomizes operational efficiency, meeting stringent requirements for flight safety, availability, agility, and life cycle costs. It's a reliable frontline fighter capable of various roles, whether operating independently or as part of a defense network. The Gripen E, a fourth-generation plus jet, entered production in 2013. During its creation, fifth-generation jets like the F-22 and F-35 were emerging. Despite this, the Gripen E competes effectively due to its cutting-edge technology and modern materials. Sweden and France are among the few European countries capable of independently developing fourth-generation fighters. With a population of just 10.5 million, Sweden needed a cost-effective aircraft that could take off and land on regular highways, leading to the creation of the JAS-39 Gripen. The Gripen E is a single-engine monoplane with a delta-shaped wing and a fully adjustable leading edge. It employs a canard aerodynamic configuration, allowing high maneuverability. Equipped with a fly-by-wire control system, it can take off and land on short runways, needing only 500 meters. About 30% of its airframe is made from composite materials, reducing weight and radar visibility. Powered by an American-made F414 engine, the Gripeny reaches Mach 2 with afterburners. It features a NATO standard refueling system and emphasizes ease of maintenance with minimal downtime between sorties and the ability to replace the E. What sets the Gripen E apart is its extensive network capabilities, typically found in fifth-generation fighters. It features the Gripen Data Link System, Link 16, and National Data Link Secure Systems, providing complete situational awareness and facilitating communication with other aircraft and ground combat equipment. Its AESA radar system tracks multiple targets, and the Skyward G optical detection system enables passive targeting. The Gripen E also incorporates radar warning and missile approach systems for pilot safety. Its electronic warfare system can interfere with enemy sensors, making it a formidable opponent. The Gripen E's capabilities were demonstrated during the Libyan campaign, where it proved its worth as a strategic resource. Creating such a powerful aircraft in 2013 is a marvel of Swedish engineering. Recognizing the rapid obsolescence of software, the Swedes devised a clever solution, separating flight-critical software from other systems, allowing easy updates without costly recertification. This approach significantly reduces operating costs and enables customization for specific needs. The Gripen E's primary weapons include the MBDA Meteor Long Range Missile and the Iris T Short Range Missile, capable of intercepting small targets, with a maximum takeoff weight of 16.5 tons and a combat range extending to 1,300 kilometers. The Gripen E ensures minimal ground time and maximum flight availability. Despite its capabilities, the Gripen E is not invincible, but stands as a testament to Swedish engineering expertise. It doesn't rely on stealth, but offers lower radar visibility than most fighters. Its agility and maneuverability make it adept in dogfights while its customization options allow operators to tailor it to their needs. 
the Swedish Air Force's roots trace back to 1926, with significant modernization post-World War II. The introduction of the Saab 29 Tunnen in the 1950s marked Sweden's foray into advanced fighter jets. Over the years, Sweden continued to innovate, leading to the development of the advanced Gripen Inc. 